what's going on guys it's kuday here and leveling up leveling up your characters is time consuming but there's such an easy way to do it that's fast so all we're gonna have to do to go through the easy route is just to go to our scorpion and all we have to do is just use all 50 level ups oh 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 that's that's not even funny see Level ups are hard to come by. A lot of my level ups came from opening up packs, but also just in general, you receive them throughout your game experience. And when you have all your characters level 50 or 60, then you just pile them up so fast. And so for people who've been playing this game for a long time, you probably can just level up your character to 50, just like this. But here's the problem. This tutorial is made for beginners, people who don't have level ups or people who can't acquire them because the Scarlet MK11 pack used to have three level ups or maybe it might have been five. I don't remember if it was three or five, whatever. It used to have them. But with the new packs being replaced with MK11 combat pack and classic combat pack, there is absolutely no level ups available. The only pack to have level ups are these old packs here. But um, this, ew, 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 yeah, no. Thumbs down, do not buy this. Baraka, you look disgusting. No one wants you, buddy. Okay, so if you're not using level up cards or not obtaining level up cards as quickly, then how do I level up my character from one to 50 or one to 60 as fast as humanly possible? Let's take advantage of something I like to call fusion boosting. If your account is not yet level 20, then what you're gonna wanna do is go to Faction Wars, right? Uh, and then go to Quick Play and choose any one of these matches, three, five, seven, doesn't really matter, or I'm gonna choose one in this case. So what we're gonna do is go and put our Scorpion on this team. So if I go right here, put my MK1 Scorpion, which is level one, I want him to get to level 50 as quickly as possible. No, we're not using diamonds, that would be cheap. What you can do is go and take your bronze characters out and just throw two bronze on the team because this still boosts your Scorpion to fusion level X, giving him 14,000 attack and 15,000 health, which should be able to beat this battle. But if you struggle with the first battles, you can just quit. You can just click fight, quit, fight, quit, and get him up to like level four. I might have to do that. But Kude, what if your bronze characters are not fusion X? If you're having a really hard time acquiring bronze characters, just go and watch your daily ads. It's reverted to the default mystery pack, which has a gold, silver, bronze character. This can be any gold in the entire game, uh, silver character, but you're probably gonna get a bronze or a silver, which means you can get those up as quickly as, but you can also go to the character shop and buy, uh, you know, Jackie Briggs or any sort of character that shows up here, but also making sure you open up your bronze pack and your daily pack every single day. Uh, so that you can acquire as many bronze characters as humanly possible. So you can actually do this strategy. I'm mentioning that because not everyone has their bronze characters up. So I thought it was important to go over that. So now that we assembled one of the perfect teams to do this strategy, what we're going to do is just click fight, of course. Uh, now our scorpion will be fusion level X. And we should be able to win this battle first try. I probably should have put some gears on him. Just some basic ones so that we had block breaking. But this doesn't seem like a hard opponent. Okay, well, if we didn't have the worst combo unders known to mankind, would appreciate being able to attack the opponent at this point. Wow. Yeah, that's the problem with Scorpion. These battles are restless. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna have to quit. Um, we're gonna level up to probably like level three, I'd say. And then we should have a much easier time doing this battle, right? Hold on, how much do we get? Oh, we only got one level, but that boosts our damage up by like 3000. So if you're struggling with the first battle, definitely do that. And what we're going to do as well is go apply some uh, non tower gear. Why this strategy if you don't have auto mode? Because if you're not level 20 and don't have auto mode unlocked, uh, you're going to want to just start off by acquiring as much XP as as possible all at once. But you can have a easier way to farm XP. Uh, once you actually do hit level 20 and I'm going to show that off in a bit But firstly, we're just going to go over the basic match where you can get a lot of XP quickly uh, Now that I put gear on and we also upgraded like two levels from the last game. We should be much better off. Oh my gosh <laughs> Man scorpion. I I'm telling you I'm struggling big time with these combo winners here. I think we need to block and then attack. Nope. Not even that works 
course not. Alright, so there we take him out. Sundell probably will use SP2, and I uh, did not block that. It's okay. This time, they have a lot less health. So now that we've won the battle, let's go see how much XP we get from just one game. Have a look. 20,000 XP from one game. We are already level five. Oh my god. Yeah, five and a half. So that just upgraded us like four levels in one game. So if you're trying to get your character up to at least level 20, this strategy will get you there very quickly. And it's easy as hell since you're going to have Fusion X diamonds and they won't. Of course, if you're level like Fusion 5 or 7 with your bronze characters, then obviously it's going to be just a little less overpowered. Now let's go over the auto mode strategy. I think you can use auto mode in the faction wars, but you're going to get more XP doing this. So what we're going to want to do is go back a little bit. I would say probably around this area. Hmm. Maybe not. I'm, th I'm trying to figure out which area would be best. Yeah, something like this. Battle mode can give you a ton of XP. So we're going to test try this battle. We're going to put auto mode on and show just how fast it goes by. Well, if Scorpion didn't have the worst combo unders, of course. <laughs> All right, now that we won the battle, let's go see how much XP we acquire from just one game of battle mode auto mode turned on. 15,000. Not too bad, but I've seen more. So what we're going to want to do is figure out where we can get more XP. This obviously requires that you have battle mode completed, but since it's the easiest game mode in MK Mobile, um, that should be no problem. These guys start to have a little bit of health and attack, but uh, it should be easy still. As long as we upgrade our special attack too. Let's just, actually, let's just upgrade it one. Well, I'm a beginner, right? We're only going to upgrade it once. Uh, and then we can just click fight and it should win by itself. We don't even have to have bronze characters on. We could have max silvers or something, but obviously we're just going to go for something that's efficient. If you're trying to level up something like MK11 Scorpion, this is no different. Oh, dark magic is a little annoying. Probably could have done the battle before this one because there's no dark magic. This one's just only going to be a little more tricky because if they do stall us, then they're going to get us down regardless. Doesn't look like they're going to be able to do that, though. Okay, so let's see how much XP this battle just gave me. And remember, this was really easy. 30,000 XP for one battle. You saw in Faction Wars, we only got 20,000. So this is a big upgrade. And if you want to reset the battle to just go do the um, same one again, then all you have to do is just go back. And you can just, you know, reset it. Reset the stage. to Just keep repeating it over and over and over and over again. And remember, we had auto mode turned on. We've gained eight levels at a total of level nine now, and it's only been like three games. See how fast this can progress your character? In no time, you're going to have a level 20, 30, 40, and most likely 50, as long as you just keep farming with auto mode. I want to show you the process in Faction Wars. It's the same exact thing uh, if you want to farm. Uh, all you have to do is just uh, put auto mode on. Look at that health, 43,000. We cannot lose now. We, we cannot lose a Faction Wars game. Once you hit level 9, the fusion boost makes it almost impossible to lose. And that's why I was telling you guys, when you first start at a level 1, this whole Faction Wars fusion boost trick, is a, it's a little harder just because you can go against diamond characters. But yeah, no, that fades quickly. Let's see how much auto mode gives us with this battle alone. If it's not 30,000, then you'll see why battle mode is more efficient and better if you have it unlocked. If you don't have it unlocked, well, yep, you can just take your 20,000 XP. It's not that big of a deal, but I'd rather be farming that extra 10,000 because over uh, a large span of time, it is going to save us a lot more. So that is how you can level up your characters from level one last thing I'm going to cover before no this video ends is if you want to get a few levels of XP on your character without having to play any battles, then I recommend quest mode. Do some hard quests that you actually get like, you know, 50 or 70, maybe even 100% in and throw the character you want to level up uh, in that quest. And then you can get a few levels before you end up playing Faction Wars or battle mode just to make it a little bit easier for yourself. But that is how you can get your character from level 1 to 50 in no time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you are new. And let me just give a big shout out.
to my YouTube members. We have Grim, JDB, Qual Yang, Legend Stone, Sammy, MK God, Bagor, Yoen Doc Gabot, Lace, Exares, Godly, Gumeramiya, Goku, Titan Beast, Tolga, Mr. Dragon, Giuliano Games, Stan Marsh, Combat Max, Aiden, Katana, Plain Punch, Jeremy, Shox YT, Jeff, Fitzmagic, Massive Cool, Rosislav, and MK Fire. Thank you all for being YouTube members. And yeah, peace out.